Hey, what is going on everyone? It's time to take a look at another city. On this channel, we haven't done too many videos on the southern US. I figure it's about time. Today's list is about the great city of Atlanta. Atlanta is one of my favorite cities to visit. I've been visiting there since back in the late 80s. It's got great food, great people, great history, and southern hospitality. They're so hospitable, when they insult you, they make it sound nice. I had a lady after a comedy show one time tell me, baby, your brain don't work right. Bless your heart. See, they throw that bless your heart in there, and it confuses you. You think it was something nice they said. It took me over an hour to figure out she'd just called me dumb, hence proving her point. Even though it's a great city, it might not be for everybody. I always do a positive and a negative video about each city, state, location, whatever I do. And I usually start with the negative video. So let's get going. Here's my top 10 reasons not to move to Atlanta. Number 10, traffic. Like most major cities that have had a major influx of people like Atlanta has over the last 10 years or so, you're gonna have traffic. That's just a fact of life. What really confuses me that this has happened across the country countless times since let's say the 1940s, you would think someone would figure out a way to stop this situation from happening. Anyway, it's ranked fourth or fifth as the worst traffic for a major city depending on which study you read. Number nine. Everything's named after peach. If someone gives you directions in the city of Atlanta and it has the word peach in it, make sure they specify which peach. Peach Road, Peach Tree Road, Peach Lane, Peach Tree Lane, Peach Street, Peach Tree Street, the Peach Pit, whatever. Everything in this city has the word peach in it, it seems like. And I get it. Georgia is the peach state. I understand. If you try and tell your land navigation system some address on peach, it will probably tell you the city of Atlanta has over 75 streets with the word peach in it and hundreds of locations. You know that, right? Bless your heart. Number eight, outside of Atlanta. If you're new to Atlanta, you've gotten used to the people of Atlanta. Please don't think that's how all the people of Georgia are. If you leave any major city in Georgia, it gets a little backwoods. Okay, not a little, it gets a lot backwoods. Now they're good people most of the time. Just don't go trying to bring your liberal views around the diner and you'll be okay. Now, if you live there, you learn to stay in the perimeter. Atlanta is ringed by the Interstate 285, a circular moat of a freeway that separates the city from the burbs and further out the Duck Dynasty types. And before you comment, I know those guys are from Louisiana, but their types are all around the South, whether you like it or not. I mean, minus the millions of dollars the Duck Dynasty people have. Number seven, everybody's a transplant. If you're new to Atlanta, you probably aren't going to find too many people born and raised. Since it got popular some years back, all the locals have fled to the suburbs. Now, if you do meet someone, you'll know it. They identify themselves by what hospital they were born at. It's a thing. I noticed this a few times and I mentioned it to a coworker. He grew up in College Park, lived there his whole life, I guess. Well, most of his life. I met him when he's like 30. He said that it's an Atlanta native thing and they all do it. So that's kind of strange, but I get it. Number six, The Real Housewives. Atlanta has a Real Housewives show, and by far it's the worst of all of them. This gives the handful of true Atlanta housewives I know a really bad name. One of those crazies released a dance track called Don't Be Tardy. I would play a clip for you right now, but I'm not that cruel to my viewers. My first question is, who the hell uses the word tardy anymore? It's ridiculous. Number five, The Music. The music scene is booming in Atlanta and probably has some of the best rap and hip hop talent currently going. When any city starts having any sort of music scene, you get a migration of small town 17 to 30 year olds that are going to make it big in the city because they're the best in their town of 234 people. Like everyone in Hollywood is an actor and is physically unable not to tell you about it, Right now, that's what's going on in Atlanta with rappers. Rappers could get arrested for drunk driving and while in the back of the squad car, try and get the cop to listen to their demo. Number four, schools. The schools are bad in Atlanta. There's approximately 155 public schools in Atlanta and most of them get an F or a D grade. The average school test score is 44% lower than the national average in Atlanta. Now, I did read an article about some schools have cut their dropout rate in half 
over the last two years, that's really good news. And it's a step in the right direction. The downside is the Atlanta school system has a lot of steps to go. Now, that one I usually don't like to make jokes about. I really believe in good schools, and I really hope for the best when it comes to this one. Education is very important. Number three, crime. Crime is bad in Atlanta. Atlanta is only safer than 2% of the cities in the United States. Now, that's not good considering there's places out there like Camden, New Jersey, Chicago, and Detroit. Gold chain snatching and car theft are big things in Atlanta. And even better, the arrests for car thefts are insanely higher than any other city in the U.S. Now, I know what you're saying. Of course, they have more arrests because they have more car thefts. Yeah, statistically, that makes sense. The thing is, most of those arrests happen within an hour of the actual theft. Everyone has a tracking device on their car in Atlanta. If you're still stealing cars out there, you're an idiot. Number two, bugs. This is one of the worst. Most of the South is infested with insects. I come from two places that really don't have many bugs, LA and Portland. In Atlanta, you have mosquitoes, gnats, lightning bugs, and these things that look like cockroaches called palmetto bugs. If you freak out about bugs, you want to move to Seattle, not Atlanta. They're everywhere. And number one, the weather. In Atlanta, they have two seasons, summer and Christmas. Now, I know it's not, but it really feels like summer is 11 months long in Atlanta. Now, most people think that's a good thing, and it is, if you're on vacation on a beach. Atlanta is hot and muggy all the time. It's so bad, skinny girls get boob sweat while sitting in the shade. Now, I've noticed girls wearing just tank tops here a bunch. It's most of the year. I've also heard other girls complain that they're not even wearing bras and it's gross and things like that. My question to those prudes is this. Why is that any different from girls in Vegas, Los Angeles, or Miami wearing bikini tops and shorts most of the year? There is no difference. It's perfectly fine. Now, the highest monthly average temperature in Atlanta in August is 85 degrees. Doesn't sound that bad, but it is when you consider that's the average. And as far as smog goes and air quality, they've also been getting up there on the air quality list in recent years. It's getting bad. That and the heat and all the traffic, it, it's not healthy. Well, that's my list. That's the top 10 reasons not to move to Atlanta, Georgia. I will have the top 10 reasons to move to Atlanta, Georgia up in the next couple days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Tell me what you thought about the video. What did I miss? What do you think should have been in there? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Share this on your social media. Don't forget my second channel. I will have the trailer up for this weekend. The videos start rolling out April of 2018, middle of April sometime couple weeks away. I'll leave a link below. It's called In a Nutshell. As always, I appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting me. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.